what's up everyone and welcome to the very first video on this channel. Every time I think back at my younger years in gaming, I get a warm feeling inside. For me, it all started when I was about 5 or 6 years old. My dad got himself an Intel 386 computer and decided he would put some MS-DOS games on it for me. I have a lot of good memories of that. Playing games like Commander Keen, Scunny Wild West and Duke Nukem was just awesome. Only much later did I really start to pick up on gaming when I got my first real game console, the Sony PlayStation. It had so many incredible games that it was as if a whole new world had opened up to me. But lately I got this weird feeling. Games didn't feel the same anymore and I didn't understand why. I thought long and hard on this subject but I couldn't quite put my finger on what was causing the way I was feeling. Of course, I got older and I do a lot more these days than just play video games, but that wasn't it. There was something else. Then, while browsing through some of my current games, I noticed something. Almost all of the games I own are either shooters, action games or fighting games. That is when I realized that what I'm actually missing is games that are fun and have colorful fantasy worlds. So I set out on a quest, a quest to find fun and colorful games that could bring that nostalgic feeling back. In this video I will show you guys and girls 8 of the fun and colorful games I managed to find that really gave me a good feeling about gaming again. So I hope you enjoy and who knows, maybe you will even find games that you didn't know yet. The first game on the list is the Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy. One of the best memories I have of gaming is of the time I first put the Crash Bandicoot disc in my PlayStation 1 and started playing. I was instantly sold and put way too many hours in that game because I loved it so much. You can imagine how happy I was to hear that there was now a remake of the first three Crash Bandicoot games. And my god, is this trilogy beautiful. Back in the day, Crash Bandicoot games already looked incredible. But now with the Unseen Trilogy, it is an absolute joy to look at. For a game series that saw its first release way back in 1996, it still feels really fun to play too. The gameplay is simple yet challenging and in some parts even really nerve-wracking. The levels have vibrant colors, a nice cartoony look and really represent what gaming was like back in those days. Playing the game is just pure fun and exactly what I had been looking for. If you're like me and you miss those old styled games too, this is a game that you should definitely add to your collection. The Insane Trilogy is available for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch and PC. So no matter what platform you own, you will be able to play this trilogy. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed that is probably one of the longest names in game title history, but damn is this game so much fun. If anything, the creators of this game looked at what made games like Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing great and then made that formula even better. This game is just one big colorful roller coaster ride that will cling on to you and won't let go until you have finished every race it has to offer. To start with, every level in this game changes during the race some more than others. This makes sure that your vehicle usually transforms between a car, boat or airplane. Each of these transformations has different handling making a race pretty challenging most of the time. The game also wants you to boost a lot, making the pace go up even higher than it already was. Like any other kart racing game, you race against opponents and use power-ups to attack or defend. In this case you can do that with almost all popular Sega characters out there. The levels in this game look fantastic. In typical Sega style they have a lot of vibrant colors and all of them are themed to match a Sega game. I really hope that one day there will be a re-release of this game because the only thing dragging the visual experience down a bit is the low resolution the game runs at in the console versions. That's a shame because aside from this, it is the best kart racing game I've ever played, period. The game is available on Xbox 360, Xbox One through backwards compatibility, PlayStation 3, Wii U, PC and mobile devices. 
On number 3 I have the LEGO Movie Video Game. This game came as a total surprise to me. I had not seen the LEGO Movie before I played this game and I basically bought the game because it looked like something my son could play. And he did, and then I did, and then we both did together. The game is an absolute blast to play together in co-op just like many LEGO games before it. Only this game felt special to me. Unlike other LEGO games where the developer tried to add funny moments but not deviate too much from the franchise it was based on, this game is based on the LEGO movie which on its own is already hilarious. Even better is that the developer managed to add even more humor to the game. In my opinion the game is actually better than the movie it is based on. It is a fairly typical LEGO game which consists of some hub worlds from which you can access levels to play. In each level you can complete different challenges and will get rewarded with gold LEGO bricks for it. The hub world also has challenges and items for you to collect. Due to the humorous nature of the game, this is not a drag as you see in many other games, but it is actually really fun to do. Add to that a solid soundtrack and nice looking visuals and you get a game that really anyone can play and enjoy. Soon there will be a new LEGO movie and I really hope that the developers of this game will make a game about that movie too. For me, it would be an instant buy. The game is available for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. We need disguises. Like clowns? We're in the old west, dummy. Oh, so rodeo clowns. Uh-huh. Next on the list is Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive would be the result of Jet Set Radio and basically any zombie apocalypse game getting a baby. You're probably wondering if this game belongs on this list of happy and colorful games and I can't blame you. Yes, indeed, the point of the game is killing some sort of zombies but you do it in such a fun and cartoony way that there is absolutely nothing serious about it. In the game you have a huge world to explore both horizontally and vertically. Literally any building, fence, power line or other object you see is in your reach making for a continuous roller coaster ride of running, jumping, grinding, shooting and smashing zombies with your melee weapon. It is super fun to play and has a lot of nice challenges in it too. The story doesn't take itself serious at all so neither should you. This is a game you can just jump in and kill some time with while having fun. What makes the game even better is the art style the developer chose. The world you roam around in is very bright and colorful and in most places it has a lot of little details hidden away in it that make you want to explore every inch of it. If you have an Xbox One or a gaming PC, be sure to check this game out, it is well worth it. Viva Piñata This game is wildly different than any other game on this list. In Viva Piñata the goal is to make a garden in order to attract piñatas. Every piñata in the game has specific needs and wishes which makes it a challenge to get them all in your garden at least once. Also some piñatas don't get along and will start fighting eventually and there are sour piñatas that can poison your piñatas or destroy your garden. There is quite a lot to explore in this game and it will take a long time before you have discovered everything it has to offer. To make things a bit easier there are different kinds of shops that you can visit. Some offer services, other offer seeds, plants and basically everything else you might need in the game. But beware it all costs money so you have to make sure that you earn enough money first. For a game that came out on Xbox 360 it really looks amazing. The garden is usually very lush and colorful. The piñatas start out black and white but when they decide to live in your garden they will become just as colorful as the garden around them. In case you manage to complete the game and want more there is also a sequel called Viva Piñata Trouble in Paradise that has even more plants, piñatas and items to explore. It even boasts all new locations for a garden. The game is available on Xbox 360 and Xbox One using backwards compatibility. Going on with the list we arrive at Unravel and Unravel 2. These games are just gorgeous in so many ways. Let's start with the graphics. 
The developer went with a more photorealistic look, which is something I usually don't like, but in this case it looks absolutely fantastic. Every level is a joy to walk through, even if it is just to check out the environments. Going through this game took me back to when I was a kid and I was trying to explore every inch of the garden by looking at things up close. The game has this same vibe. But not only the graphics are beautiful in these games, so are the soundtracks. If I could, I would put that on a USB stick, turn the lights off and just relax while listening to it. It really is that beautiful. And finally, the story of these games. You play as Yarny, a little doll made of yarn, two dolls in Unravel 2, and your main goal is to follow memories of people. I was absolutely amazed about the way these stories got to me. Not just because I like the stories on their own, but mostly due to the way they are told. There are no words or long movies, all you see are small fragments of memories, and yet they are enough to tell you a whole story. I have to give the developer credits for that. But aside from this game being gorgeous, it is also fun to play. You go through levels by completing physics based puzzles. They strike the perfect balance between challenging and fun to do. Both games are pretty cheap to get, so if you have some money to spare, don't hesitate to buy them. The games are available on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Next up is Castle Crashers. This was one of the very first Xbox 360 arcade games that I owned and it's still one of the best. Castle Crashers is a colorful hack and slash game with a very healthy dose of humor in it. Many times during the game completely random things happen that are bound to make you laugh. The gameplay itself is fairly straightforward but that is how it's meant to be. It never advertised to be something complicated and in this case that is not a bad thing at all. This is one of those games that is great to play when you have some friends over or with some friends online. Let's not forget the insane soundtrack this game has. Even to this day it amazes me how an arcade game like Castle Crashers can have a cool soundtrack like this. I enjoy it a lot, especially that intro song. So if you're looking for a simple but fun game with some humor in it, this is the game for you. It is available for Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and PC. And the final game on this list is Yuka Laylee. A lot of people got bummed out by the latest Banjo-Kazooie game, Nuts and Bolts, because it was mostly centered around building vehicles instead of the old school 3D platform gaming that made the previous games a success. Well, some people at Rare agreed and left the company to create their own studio and make Ukulele, the spiritual successor of Banjo-Kazooie. If it wasn't for the name and the different characters, this game could easily have been a new Banjo-Kazooie game. But that aside, it is one of the very few old school adventure games left out there. Sure, playing a game like this means getting used to that style again, but once you do, it is well worth it. The game consists of a couple of main hub worlds that are beautifully crafted. Each hub world has its own theme, jungle, snow, etc. And all of them can be expanded if you progress through the game. Also, the hub worlds are filled with collectibles, minigames and secrets to find. Along the way, your characters will be able to learn new moves that can help you through the game. The game also has some nice old school humor that put a smile on my face more than once. If it is the old school adventure platforming games that you miss, then this is a game for you. It is available for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch and PC. Alright, we arrived at the end of the video. Creating this video was a big challenge to me because I had not done something like this before. It was a lot of fun though and it really motivated me to make more videos. If you have some advice for me, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I will be sure to create new videos in the future, so stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. 
Thank you for watching everyone and have a nice day.